Hi. Hi. Are you sure you can prepare for product based companies through this course? Yes, sitting at home. No way. Yes way. Don't delay. Enroll now. Geeks learning together. Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to another session of interview preparation strategies and I will be the host for today's session. And yes, my name is Ashwara Singh. I work as a marketing executive at uh, Geeks for Geeks and I'll be the host for today's webinar. I hope that you guys are doing fine. I also know that I'm coming after a very long gap to host a webinar. Uh so yeah, so a bit of knowing that how are you guys doing? How is your learning journey going is you know knowing all that is my kartavya i guess so yeah so hey siddharth hey ankur hey gorav i hope you guys are doing fine and i hope that i'm audible and uh, it will be really helpful if you can just put a comp it uh, a thumbs up or audible or yes uh, put a yes comment in the comment section so that i get i get to know that if i'm audible uh, perfectly to you guys or not hi hi manoj how are you so perfect as uh, the one announcement that i want to make in the beginning of the session only that you guys are usually uh, you guys are uh, most probably aware of this that our uh, geek olympic is going on a very major event of uh, geeks for geeks and there are a lot of contests and a lot of uh, you know other activities are going on so you should check all the activities because only two days of the same are left like today and tomorrow so yeah there isn't much but there is a lot to grab a b so you should go in the description check out the link and yes get yourself enrolled to some uh, some or even at least one of the contest yeah right cool so hi okay thank you so much guys thank you so much aryan thank you so much for letting me know thank you so much um, hi amandeep hi yashard hi khushi good evening hi i am good shalini how are you hi vishal perfect you can just keep sending me comments and meanwhile uh, we'll start the session for today's session we have mr utkarsh duvedi with us who will share his interview preparation strategies uh, for infosys with us so let's quickly add him to the stream i'm pretty sure that this is going to be a really great session so let's start our session Hi Akash, how are you? Hi Ashraya, I'm absolutely fine and I'm safe. How are you? <laughs> I'm also fine and yes, I'm also safe. <laughs> cool. So, uh, Akash, I hope that you are excited about today's session with us. Yes, actually, yeah. waiting for the session uh, since long, and I would love to share wow. the experience so that my junior should get a little help. wow that's great that's great and that's what we are trying to do right here with uh, to helping you no know, helping each other in the community and preparing helping them prepare better so that's great and uh, without wasting any time now let's quickly begin uh, with our session which starts with a in with an introduction of yours so let's begin with an introduction please tell our audience about yourself okay so hello everyone uh, this is me utkarsh devedi currently i have been pursuing my btech in computer science and engineering from psit kanpur i am currently placed with infosys and has recently completed my internship with infosys of 3.5 months my role is uh, a system engineer and i have completed the internship in a mean stack profile okay okay and what are your interests majorly our audience would like to know my interest uh, as a student i actually uh, love to um, explore about the latest technologies and do coding of course and after getting placed when i completed my internship the major thing that i prefer these days is to go with the projects and do that because this is the only thing uh, as of now which is you know the future of the it industry and we have to do right perfect perfect so uh, moving on let's uh, quickly jump to the major question that is about the interview rounds and uh, also about the preparation strategies so first we'll discuss about the interview rounds that how many rounds were there in the interview that you had with infosys and you can uh, tell the number of the rounds and the name of the rounds 
Okay. So before starting the uh, uh, interview rounds uh, details, I would like to tell everyone that uh, I uh, am placed with InfiTQ. That is a, a open contest organized by Infosys for all the batches. So in the month of Feb last year, we had first round that was screening round uh, that comprised of the uh, sections includes uh, Python and uh, in Python, we have three sections that includes with basic Python, object-oriented programming using Python, and data structures using Python. And the fourth module was a database management system. So in screening round, we had questions of uh, Python uh, that includes uh, 20 questions and 10 questions from DBMS and uh, 10 questions from aptitude as well. So after clearing the inter uh, that screening round, uh, the selected candidates uh, get into the coding round. So okay. uh, as we know that uh, in uh, March last year, uh, that uh, Corona pandemic uh, has actually arrived and uh, we were shut. So the planned schedule for coding round was on uh, 21st March, but we could not attend that and it was postponed. So it took a long way and our coding round actually happened in the month of June. And uh, then interview also got delayed. And uh, in the uh, coding round, we actually had two questions of uh, uh, Python language. And that was of uh, medium level. And uh, along with the section that comprises of MCQs, uh, 10 questions from DBMS and 10 questions from Python. Then and after clearing uh, that round. OK, thank you. Yeah, after He's clearing done. that round, shortlisted uh, for the interviews, but they were also delayed because uh, last year there was no planning that how the things will go. So that 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 was the reason the things were getting delayed. And what happened was that uh, after in the month of August, our campus announced that Infosys is going to visit our college for the on-campus placements. And before that, the InfiTQ uh, okay. interview results were not announced actually. So we were allowed to appear in on-campus placement drive as well. So I, I appeared in that also. Okay. So I'll be sharing both the experiences. And uh, so for the on-campus, there were no coding round. But yeah, uh, there were two rounds only. One was uh, the written round that comprises of five sections. Uh, the first section uh, was uh, quants, then followed by reasoning, verbal, and uh, pseudocodes. There were codes, uh, we have to find out the outputs of uh, those. And the last one was a puzzle round. And then uh, the okay. interview. So actually, I got the result before the on-campus interview that I have been placed with Infosys through InfiTQ. So I did not okay. appear for the on-campus interview. So that is how my journey uh, wow. take me through this. That's, uh, quite, yeah, that's quite interesting, I would say. Right. Yeah. Uh, so uh, uh, another question from my side related to these interview rounds. Uh, can you please describe that what uh, what the difficulty level of the question that were asked in each and every round? Well, like if you will just you if you have to scale them from you know a, like oh, easy, moderate, or difficult. So how would you go for each and every round? So talking about the InfiTQ round, uh, in screening round we have MCQs, and for InfiTQ preparation, uh, the Infosys have their own platform named as InfiTQ that has all the four modules. So uh, yeah. if a student uh, prepare himself by those uh, four modules only, it would be easy for him to crack the screening round very easily. So the level I would say was a medium level only. They were no tricky, but yeah, time management was a crucial factor that actually played. Okay. And moreover, there was a negative marking as well in the screening round of 0.25. Okay. And in the coding round, we have two questions. And the question mainly were asked from strengths and um, some list and dictionaries. There were no uh, very high five questions that uh, includes the data, uh, trees and graphs. Uh, it wasn't like that. Uh, because uh, in the coding round, they again asked the uh, multiple choice questions of DBMS and uh, Python. Python, uh, all the three sections. That is basic, data structures, and groups. And there was no negative marking in the coding round. Perfect. That's great. So, uh, right. So here, all our doubts are cleared regarding your interview rounds and the process. Now, uh, another major question, like 
uh, we our audience would like to know your strategies preparing for each and every round. So basically, our audience would like to know that for each round, how did you prepare for it? How did you manage your timelines for that? So what was your strategy? Because every person has different strategy. And from this question, we try to deliver our audience you know, a, a combination of strategies so that they can just, okay, they, it can help them out that, okay, what can be done for you know, their preparation strategies. Yes. So let's go. What is your so the strategy is, of course, that each day brings uh, something to learn. So I started my preparation uh, in the month of January. That is when I uh, jumped into the sixth semester for InfiDQ. Because the InfiDQ screening round was uh, to be held in the month of Feb only. And I started uh, preparing okay. in the month of Jan before January only through the InfiDQ platform only. All the four modules were completely, you know, uh, thoroughly prepared so that I could easily crack the uh, MCQ round and then after okay. that uh, for a uh, coding round yes I have been doing coding since my third semester in first semester also I learned uh, C for uh, basic programming skills and then I switched to Python from third semester and started preparing uh, some code coding uh, from hacker rank and uh, that is what helped me so I would suggest that just uh, keep preparing a little little and uh, it would be you know you can uh, make out the placements very easily it won't be a big task little help but and of course for the aptitude part you should be uh, start preparing uh, now only for mm -hmm. all the juniors i would like to recommend that those who are going for the inter uh, placement uh, drives very soon so start preparing your aptitude as well along with the technical uh, keep practice practicing some of the questions regularly Okay, cool. So, um, Kush, uh, we would also like to know about your coding journey. So, can you please tell our audience that how did it start? How did it? How did you, you know, uh, start your building your inclination towards coding? And you just thought, okay, okay, that I have to do this thing only. So, can you please share that with us? I uh, see having interest in computers uh, in my schooling only. I took uh, C plus plus as a subject in my eleventh. So from that period, I started uh, yeah, learning coding. So initially uh, in 11th and 12th, I went with the C++ and learned some concept. At that time, we were not you know, aware of uh, coding platforms like HackerRank or CodeChef and all. So that was just to build a basic knowledge of the, uh, of the uh, programming language. Then, uh, of course, as I built the interest in um, this uh, software development and coding, I took a BTEC Computer Science and Engineering as my interest field uh, and uh, started, you know, that uh, engineering uh, with the CSE branch. And uh, in first semester, uh, started learning C at it was in our curriculum. And then after that, I switched to Python as uh, it was it is actually the demand of the industry these days. So from the third semester till date, I have been with the Python only. And uh, oh. really, um, after a Py being a Python developer, and now, you know, once a Python developer, always a Python developer. It would be really difficult to switch from Python to especially Java or C++ again. Oh. Okay. So this is how the journey goes. Perfect. Thank you so much for sharing that uh, with us. Now, uh, next question will be related to uh, the projects. So as we know, the product projects are a very important part of, uh, you know, a graduate, uh, you know, a graduation student's life in, you know, in BTEC. So uh, what is your take and what is your understanding on that? How, what should be kept in mind or what one should focus on while preparing their topic or uh, while working on a project? So can you please elaborate on this? A project actually play a very crucial role for the placement drives. Uh, we are going to mention some of the projects in our resume also, and the interview will, de will definitely ask some of the questions re related to the projects. So uh, one should always uh, move with the project in uh, at least in the second year, or if not possible in second year, then in third year, one should definitely prepare one of one or two projects, starting with the mini project. So I uh, developed uh, along with the team a uh, mini project in uh, fifth semester. And then in the sixth semester, I decided my final year project. 
and uh, again in internship i made another project that was an internship project and that was actually an entire product that how the industry actually works with the project mm -hmm. so another thing that what uh, should be kept in mind while preparing the project is that you should be a team player first that is you should be interactive and should bring out your own ideas and put them forward with your team so that you okay. may also get a chance that how to explore the things and work on the things if you get the opportunity to be the team leader uh, then you should of course uh, look forward to get this opportunity this will help you out a lot especially in the interview and will get you the experience also and uh, will help you in the industry as i have seen that uh, managing the team managing the time that how the things should be planned in the project how you should interact with your teammates these all are the key factors and short things that actually lead to success in the industry absolutely correct yes so uh, that's it uh, i'm i have one more question but i guess that i'll be asking that question in the last in the end of this session okay so now i request all my audience to just uh, you know put down their queries their questions in the comment section and uh, utkarsh will try his best to uh, you know resolve them or just uh, help you out in your queries so let's begin our uh, q and a session and we are waiting for your comments with your waiting for your queries and we'll start with that okay mean meanwhile we are getting the queries and okay let's begin uh, rithik is asking rithik is asking like how to improve logic logical building logic okay so uh, to improve the logic building i would suggest that you should start preparing and start practicing because coding is something that do not come in months it actually take years so as a beginner you should start with a programming language and uh, start practicing with easy level uh, you can go with the uh, hacker rank or uh, hacker earth or you can take questions from geeks or geeks as well they have the questions from uh, easy to the difficult level so many questions that are even asked in the contest by uh, uh, top mncs so this is how the logic building could be improved and one more thing that you should keep in mind that uh, please uh, do not you know uh, directly jump on to the solution of the question first try yourself in the beginning it may take longer than usual but if you try one uh, code to solve on your own then you will definitely get the confidence and you should get the idea that yes i can also come with uh, a new solution so that is how uh, you can improve your coding skills okay uh, next question for uh, we'll take from omkar he is asking what is your approach while solving a complex coding problem complex coding problem uh, mainly asked by uh, dynamic programming so uh, if you have that approach in mind that how this problem could be solved in uh, you know uh, breaking that uh, solution in small small parts and then you can solve or you can uh, you always go with the recursive approaches to solve the problems so uh, and uh, for that you should uh, be thorough with the data structures i would recommend okay next question we'll take from shreya jaiswal is asking that from where and what to start first for preparing for interviews okay for interviews uh, you can go with your uh, subject of interest please keep uh, at least two or three subjects uh, so that you can be very thorough with them in your btech curriculum because interview will definitely ask some of the interesting subjects and will check your knowledge in that area apart from those subject please keep data structures and database management system uh, thorough with you because whether you mention them or not questions are sure from those subjects right and if you are from a computer science engineering background 
and even from non csit branches also and planning to go in an it industry uh, you should be uh, very much aware about software engineering that how uh, i mean what we actually do in the industry so this is how you could start your preparing and another thing to build the confidence that you should be you know be interactive with people and start communicating because communication actually plays an important role once you if you are not able to you know put on your ideas and your views and express yourself uh, your knowledge won't be you know uh, have a great impact so please i mean don't hesitate to speak Okay. Perfect. Okay. So um, let let's take one last question. Prashant is asking this question again and again, so I have to take this question. Does Indian market has scope to bear with Python developers? Okay. So uh, as a fresher, what I have actually seen that of course uh, the demand is of web development. still actually it is very high but for python developers also uh, as we can see everywhere ai and ml these technologies are being used and python right. is the most suitable language for uh, these implementation of those algorithms that include uh, artificial intelligence so and uh, why, what i will say that why not a company will prefer a student or an employee who is excellent in uh, python and uh, could help to build the projects of ai or ml so scope is obviously uh, high and if you have the skill you are capable of doing that then industry will definitely hire you in that uh, role also if not as a fresher if you are doing well uh, in that field in the industry also after some time they will ask and you can uh, directly contact them for that uh, i am able to do manage uh, that project that includes python and uh, i mean uh, no no one will you know um resist you to do that okay so that's it that was the end of our q and a session as we are running out of time we have to wind it up here only and now here comes my uh so okay. uh first of all i am i just want to thank you our audience thanks a lot for being such an active audience with us in the comment section i hope that uh utkarsh has helped you out in your queries and uh, whose queries are not have not been picked up in this session i am uh, i tell you that we'll surely pick up your queries in another session but we have this time crunch and we have to you know manage everything accordingly so i really apologize for that but yes be ready with your questions i'll keep those question in mind and i'll try to cover up those question for sure now here comes my last question for you utkarsh which is that how did you keep yourself motivated so uh, basically it's like uh, there are times when we feel really low and we don't know what is working out with it so what is your mantra for that i yeah, yeah uh, it is very well uh, said by you that there has been times by me uh, um, in my life also that when i got actually disappointed and uh, there was some partial uh, dissatisfaction by the things so my motivation uh, mantra includes two things first thing is that you have to be patient because everything happens with a reason and for a reason and uh, that brings out the best in you so be patient and keep practicing and doing the things uh, one day you will definitely at, uh, attain something better even uh, what you have expected and another thing is do not compare yourself with others because comparison sometimes make that uh, you know uh, you get demoralized that he has done that uh i could not be able to do that maybe in the future as well so please do not do that and do not even bother that what others are doing in their respective fields you do your work uh, we all are equal and are capable enough to crack the things so uh, this comparing will actually uh, you know make some of the dis uh, disappointment for you so what i will uh, suggest is to just practice practice and practice and uh, be uh, and do what actually uh, you are interested in and uh, one thing one oh. uh, another thing that you have to be uh, you know that keep one thing in mind that uh, just uh, bother one thing that you look after the uh, you know feeling of your parents that once the day uh, think about the day that when the results uh, will be announced that uh, and parents will think will get to know that they are child has got placed with the top mncs so that would be the best feeling i of the world and in your entire life i would say 
and uh, by this thing in your mind uh, keep preparing and start preparing and for the uh, aspirants the who are going to appear for the placement drives very soon uh, this uh, month of july august and september these three months are actually very crucial so practice uh, uh, you know some extra than yesterday great that is uh so yeah that was perfect actually and i hope the you know the juniors and the people who are preparing right now you know are getting motivated uh got motivated from this so thank you so much utkarsh for conducting this session for us it was a great session and uh, we are we are so glad to have you here and yeah thanks again from geeks for geeks from my side and from on yeah thanks to geeks for geeks also uh, for giving me this opportunity and uh, thanks to audience for being so patient and okay. uh, interactive thank you <laughs> thank you so much utkarsh all the best bye bye thank you so much bye so guys that was it that was our today's session into of interview preparation strategies i hope that you enjoyed our today's session and you have got a uh, you know a uh, very insightful points that you can apply in your preparation strategies in your interview preparation strategies so yeah that's it and uh, again i'm reminding you that only two days of geeks olympics are left and uh, we really don't want you to miss out on uh, great opportunities great contest and rewards so you can just check the same out in the link which is uh, which has been kept uh, which has been put in the description below so you should check it and yeah till then uh, take care keep learning and again don't forget to participate in the show geeks olympics bye bye take care i'll see you soon in another session of interview preparation strategies or some special webinar or or some like that good night